Hi, this is a tutorial on how to paint a realistic succulent. What I'm, what I'm painting on today is some canvas paper. I already have my image drawn on with pencil. And I'm using some hooker's green, some burnt umber, some medium olive green, a bright yellow, titanium white, and a little bit of a teal green. Uh, I've begun these leaves, which you can see them completed, and on these two leaves I've laid in the color. And that mixture is a little bit of the burnt umber and some hooker's green. It makes a great base coat. For, I use that for most of my leaves that I paint. And then I change that and uh, whatever type of leaf I'm painting. I'll add different shades to that, but it's a great first layer, um, gives you a pretty realistic leaf color. You're going to be painting these leaves in layers, and I'm using acrylic paints, but you could do this in watercolor, you could use oils, this is just how I paint my leaves. So you want your layers to dry down a little bit. I like to paint wet into wet, but it needs to be a little bit drier. I don't use a lot of paint. Uh, most of my paintings are, you can run your hands over them when they're dry and you don't feel the, the, the layers of paint. Uh, and that's how I like to paint. I don't, there's no wrong or right way. just how I've learned. So again, just laying in this color, the base coat. I'm using an angle brush because I like the chisel point. Um, I get a lot of good coverage from that. And also you can you know, turn the brush so that you can get use the, the chisel point for outlining. Okay, so there we've laid that color in, that hooker's green and burnt umber, and I'm going to let that dry down a little bit, and I'm going to go back to these two leaves, and I'm switching my brush since I'm adding a little bit more detail. Um, this is a six, a six round. So I'm just going to pick up the burnt umber, and this is a really deeper area. This is where it would be a lot more shaded. So I'm just going to lay that burnt umber over the leaf. And just sort of begin laying in some details. Succulent leaves towards the outer portion of the plant tend to be a little bit more flat, although there's usually a center line and they're a little bit thicker around the edges. So I'm just going to lay in some of that. I'm adding a little bit of the hooker's green now to the middle. So this area a lot of times on the leaves are flat. Now I'm going into the medium olive green, which I think has to be my favorite shade of green to paint with. So you can see that leaf is already starting to take shape. We've got the darker around the edges, lighter in the middle, and the deeper uh, middle portion, which gives it a little bit of dimension. And you just keep laying that color on. Now I've used some blue in these leaves to add a little bit more depth. You could use purple it's a great shading color. And then I'm going to go into the medium olive green and pick up some yellow. So I want a little bit brighter. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit. This is maybe where the sun would be hitting this leaf. 
so it'll be a little bit lighter than this side. Blend that out a little bit more. And we'll let that dry down, that leaf anyway, and we'll go over here to this leaf. And I'm going to go back into the burnt umber. And shade around the outer portion of the leaf again on this. This is the area that would be in shadow. So we're going to make that pretty deep. I'm going to go back into the hooker screen. And then pick up the olive shade. I want this leaf to be over the top of this leaf. This one will be tucked under, so I'm going to add a little bit of brightness here. And you can see by adding that lighter over the top, it forces this one into the background. And it makes sure I think that it is, that this leaf is on top of that leaf. And go in even further and add yellow so it's even more of a highlight. And we'll let that dry down a little bit and go back to our first leaf. And I'm going to add some white into the olive green. It's going to bring that leaf up even higher in highlights. I'm just going to do a mixture of white and the teal. So I'm going to highlight around this edge. And honestly, you just keep mixing and layering until you like the looks of the leaf. Painting is all just, it's just about playing, figuring things out, what works for you, what doesn't work, what do you like. There is no wrong or right. teal by itself. And let that dry down a little bit. And we'll go to our second leaf. 